Nat. And good evening. <laughs> Nat, good morning. Uh, good morning to everybody watching on the live stream. We have a very special guest this morning. He is known as the Hungry Chef, Nathaniel <laughs> Ko Uy. And um, my name is Antonias, founder of Our Awesome Planet. We're Awesome Life together with the Adobo Queen, Nancy Reyes Lumen. Uh, streaming live from Texas. Uh, we're Awesome Live with the Hungry Chef. Uh, can you do a short video? Short All right, all right. Uh, we're so excited uh, to get to know your story. So uh, for those uh, of you watching, please like and share this video. And to those uh, fans of The Hungry Chef, please uh, share this in your social media <laughs> channel. So I uh, I know not from the blogging circle, no, from the social media Instagram circle, but I uh, never really you know, got to know him for his culinary career and uh, would be an interesting uh, episode uh, this morning. Uh, good evening, Nancy. Good evening. I have known Nathaniel since he was a teenage blogger. And wow. he has really, I have seen his development, right? Uh, uh, okay. Okay. To kick off our discussion, uh, Nat, uh, can you share with us, paano ka, nag, paano ka nagsimula uh, before naging hungry, Chef? Um, hi, good morning, everyone. Good evening, Chef Nancy. Um. Ako, sobrang ano lang, sobrang simple lang sa akin. Because before, I used to, uh, uh, I graduated from La Salle, um 2004. So that was my first course. Hindi talaga ako ng culinary. Um, Orgcom. Organizational Communication in La Salle, yes. So malayo sa culinary. And then, um, I worked for two years sa uh, um, Fortune Tabaco as auditor. Ban layo. <laughs> Wala <laughs> kinalaman. Pero um, working as auditor, dun yung naging awakening ko for my passion for food. As in, dun ko ah, nakita no. yung... Yeah, ang weird. Because um, when I was working as an auditor, we would usually travel from um, uh, parang different provinces, different cities. So, nangyayari every time when I do my travels, um, which is like every two weeks, Ang una ko ni research is sa nokain. Ano ba yung delicacy dito sa city na to? Ano ba yung delicacy dito sa province na to? So I would like hoard like ko ni mga pagkain doon. Yun yung pupuntahan ko muna instead of doing my work. So sorry sa former boss ko. So <laughs> yun yung ginagawa ko. So talagang food base yung ginagawa ko um, whenever I travel for work before. So dun yun dun na kick off yung passion ko na parang hmm, talagang hili ko yung pagkain. Actually, um, my first salary in Fortune Tobacco before, the first thing I bought for myself was two things. One was um, yung book ni uh, Nora Daza. Um, wow. Yeah, that's the first thing I bought. And the second one was a book from Le Cordon Bleu. So yun yung dalawang things na binili ko uh, for, for my first salary before. So hanggang ngayon, tanda-tanda ko siya kasi... Yeah, kasi sobra ako na nagulat kasi it was there. Na parang ang hirap hanapin dati yung book ni Nora Daza kasi out of print na siya. Uh, until now, ni-revive na lang nila. But before, it was out of print. So nung nakita ko, binili ko kagad siya. Na parang it was really um, something na at that I treasure. So yun. So kaya yun. During my work, talagang uh, food-centered siya. So sabi ko, I must really love food. So kaya I coerce. My parents, sabi ko, I want to take a second course uh, to study culinary naman this time. Ah, okay. Saan so, yeah. yung culinary? Yeah. Where? Um, my culinary was in Aishkam, mm-hmm. um, where um, uh, Chef Joey also teaches. So, nagkasalubong okay. kami ni Chef Joey for, for like a few months when he went in naman. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. So that's why uh, doon ko na una nakilala si Chef Nancy. Uh, actually, first time ko siya na meet face to face. Because um, nagkaroon ng... Nagturo ba? Nagturo ba ano, siya? Nagkaroon ng, ano, nagkaroon ng dinner uh, for Mandarin Oriental Hotel. Yung final dinner ni yeah. Chef Norbert. So, doon ko una nakita si Chef Nancy. 
um, yeah. ever. <laughs> that was the last uh, formal dinner before Mandarin closed. Yeah. Talaga? Wow. Yeah. Very nostalgic so, that time. It was very, it's a very good dinner. Actually, nandun ako because, um, wala lang, it's a chef's event. So parang it's a chef-driven event. Ang saya. It's one, one of the first few na happening in the country na may mga ganong chef-driven event. And it's like superstar chefs lahat. Chef Ernie's cooking, Chef Joey's cooking, Chef Ken was cooking, uh, Chef, uh, wow. super, uh, Chef Rod Rudolph. Yeah. yeah. La, all-star, ano, tapos, um, Pag, pag, pag punta ko, I was saying hi to uh, all the chefs. Sabi, hindi, pasok ka sa kitchen, dito ka, usap tayo, mga ganun. So, it was really parang ang saya. Ang saya nung, nung, nung event na yun. And then, yun nga. I met a lot of press people then at that time. Na, at that time, wala pa akong idea of going into vlogging naman. So, um, you're from, anong heritage ng ni Nathaniel Uy? Ano ba yan? From China ba? Third generation? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Or merong uh, what's my regular DNA? Um, actually, my dad is partly Ilocano, uh, so oh. they're from Isabela, and then my my mother side mostly um they came from China. Uh, well, I think uh, my my grandparents or great great grandparents came from China. Although my gra- grandfather na and grandmother na nakilala ko, they grew up here na, so dito ko na sila nakilala and all. Um, but yung background pa rin nila, especially my grandfather, very conservative Chinese kasi siya. So, um, ako personally, medyo doon ko nakuha yung, yung number one, love of food ko sa, sa granddad ko. And number two, yung pagka-love ko sa old school, old taste of food. So, mahilig ako sa, if I need to be, when I eat something, I want it to be very nostalgic. Ganun. Even when I cook, I want it to be very nostalgic. That's the reason why I make my own mooncakes before. It's because before kasi marami magbibigay sa granddad ko na mooncake. So our our dining room will be filled with mooncakes before from different suppliers. Ganyan. So I would taste isa-isa. Uh, parang na-feel ko lang that the taste before and the taste now was a little different. So, I tried to recreate yung taste na natatandaan ko from before. Parang ganon. So, I want everything to be very nostalgic, very classic in a sense. But um, sometimes I put my own twist to it, um, especially ko ano yung ano yung mga um, hinahanap nung palette ko. But um, more, more, most of the time, it's very nostalgic, very old school. Yung ang tagal-tagal lutuin, in, 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 yung isang dish pa lang kailangan mo na ng three cooking methods agad. Parang ganun. Hmm. Hmm. Three cooking methods. Wow. That's very Chinese. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, exactly. Uh, exactly. <laughs> oh, I will go back to the mooncakes. No? I have questions on the mooncake. But, uh, yeah. paano naging hungry, Chef? How did you, uh, after graduation from Aishkam, did you, ano ba, did you go down the restaurant route or pa paano ba? Um, and then, paano naging hungry siya? Okay. Um, so, during um, my, my culinary year in Aishkam, um, doon yung sumisikat yung Instagram. So, sabi ko lang, oh, I wanted uh, to make that. Uh, anong year yan? I forgot. Um, wait, 2000 for a year, Mga 2006, 2007, roughly, I think. Okay. Tapos sobrang konti pa lang ng sobrang konti pa lang ng Instagram users that time. And it was fun kasi I love taking photography scenes um or come now before so sabi ko, sige why not pick up ko yung Instagram. And then um at that time I just wanted to have a cool name. Yun naman parate. So I just wanted to have a cool name and I was taking up culinary so sabi ko, pa maganda yung the hungry chef. Okay, sige. Parang hungry meaning not naman parating gutom, but um uh hungry for more um uh yes, learnings, parang ganon. Hungry for more um ideas, hungry for more um mga mas hungry for more uh things, not naman necessarily food. So do siya like start. And then when I was doing my internship um in BGC before, parang every time, every lunch time, every time may merenda, I would go out and try all the other restaurants dun sa tabi ng restaurant na ako sa ako nag intern So, I was doing it one by one. So, ubusan talaga ako ng budget before. But, 
wala. That was really my passion. So, kung ano yung manan bago dun, I would like try every now. So, even with my stress jacket on, magta-try lang ako one and one. So, the Instagram before my page, ang nangyari sa kanya was a diary for me na, kunyari, when I plan to cook it or recreate it at home, meron ako magiging basis na parang, oh, ganito yung, dito ako nasarapan, ito yung uh, na gusto ako sa method na ginawa ni Chef ganito, blah, blah, blah. So, it was really a diary for me. Um, nung start. So, before, when I was starting the page, I do it one photo at a time, one food at a time. Tapos lahat talaga may sarili kong diary. So, I didn't know that people will actually pick it up na parang as a, as a food diary, as a personal food diary. So, yun. So, then that happened. And then, I think some restaurants start noticing it. So, they started inviting me, ganyan. At first, syempre, I, I don't know if See, Sir Anton had the same problem. Kung hindi mo sarap yung food, hindi mo type yung food, you don't know how to say it directly to the owner. So, ando na ako sa dilemma na tatahimik ba ako? Sasabihin ko ba? Ganyan, ganyan. Because remember, these are more experienced chefs than I am. I was just starting. So, di ko alam kung paano ako magsasalita to them or ano yung open up ko. Pwede ba mag-open up? Because, di ba, parang sino ba naman ako at that time? But, um, eventually, um, everyone became friends. I became friends with uh, chefs. So, parang nagkaroon ako comfortable na to say things din na parang, chef, parang feeling ko bagay to, feeling ko ganyan. And then, we're like, oh nga no, ba't di ko naisip yan? Yung mga ganun. So, it became a, a good community na rin of, uh, of things that ano. Kaya pansin nyo, on the latter part of the reviews that I do, I don't really say anything negative more. Kasi before I do negative reviews as that's not my only venue to vent out kung masarap or hindi masarap yung makain ko. But um now most of the time nadadiretso ko na rin naman siya sa chef, nadadiretso ko na siya sa owner. So I don't think um it's necessary for me to actually post it online and pa. Kasi nasasabi ko na siya. Eh. Like for example, I had the bad experience with ganitong restaurant. I can directly oh with actually with chef Nancy Dinaracho ko na kay Chef Nancy yung sasabihin ko. Remember, I don't know if you remember before with Aristocrat, but dinaracho ko na siya. Parang yeah, at least yeah. it's done. Yeah. ba? Parang at least it's done. It, it's just between us friends. Wala nang, hindi na siya lalaki. Hindi na natin siya pakilala palaki pa. Okay. So I guess that's that's one um uh, good thing then with the, with the blogging side of, of my work. But let me interject in a bit. Doreen Fernandez was, um, in her own way, she was a blogger, <laughs> mm. But um, uh, not done, not uh, virtual, not done by the internet. But Doreen's way was always positive, enabling, encouraging. If there was something that was negative, it would really be, parang iikutan niya yung problem and maybe suggest exactly what you're doing. And I think that's one of the keys the, the successful keys to being a good blogger. Yung iba kasi nagyayabang na, ah, tatakutin ko to, anuhin ko lahat na pangit, lagot ka sa akin. You know, may, may drama, may drama sila, may impact, pero for how long? After that, iiwasan na siya ng mga tao. So, Doreen was, for me, one of the pioneers of all this type of um, of professional, gentlemanly, ladylike blogging. Thank you. Ne, oh, of course. Uh, Siyempre. Uh, pero hindi, hindi ko na inambutan si Doreen. No? Uh, but I really heard a lot of the things that she did no, for the industry. Galing that's, nga. that's what Anton does. That's that's your tone. That's also your tone, Nat. Oh, oh, yeah. when, we were, when we were doing, I was doing reviews for Lo, Lo, Lesame. That's it also. Why? Because some restaurants, their, their capital is out of pocket. Yes. But, Tapos okay. siraan mo ng one day yung bench. Yeah, oo. Oh. Tsaka lalo na during the pandemic. Uh, or yeah. itong pandemic pala, di ba? Uh, a lot of people are having problems. You know? Yes. Sometimes. Uh, oh, going back. Um, so Nat, uh, <clears throat> anong, anong tawag nito? Uh, let's talk about the mooncakes kasi we can saw that in your... Uh, in your Instagram, no? And uh, masarap yung mooncake. Uh, what's the story of the mooncake? How is it different uh, 
What, what's your branding ba? The Hung, Hungry Chef Mooncake? Ano bang branding nung... Um, naging under na rin siya sa umbrella ng The Hungry Chef because that's my only platform. Uh, so everything that I do from fitness to cooking to whatever, it's all under The Hungry Chef. Maski mga personal stuff ko, it's all under The Hungry Chef kasi that's the only thing that I have. <laughs> Wala nang iba. So um, when I sell, I just post a link on uh, Instagram, an updated link, and also to other um, groups. Tapos yun, um, it will be by schedule lang naman. But yeah, uh, everything's under the Hungry Chef. Um, yun. Uh, I don't know. Uh, so what's, the what's the difference? What's the difference? What's the difference between other mooncakes? Uh, for me kasi, uh, when you eat mooncake kasi, it should be fragrant. Yun yung natatandaan ko whenever, uh, before yeah. when I was growing up. Kailangan mabango siya. Um, from now, what? Kasi from what? and galing yung fragrance. Yeah. Um I don't for, yung sa before I don't know where but for our mooncakes uh we only use butter as uh for the coating sa labas nung nung doon sa pastry sa labas. So I only use butter. Um so every time na gumagawa ng mooncake actually inuubos namin yung butter. We buy from SNR. So hinuhold ko talaga yung butter from SNR because I I can only use two kinds of butter. Uh, kung hindi, masyado siyang... It's very tricky kasi the pastry eh. Nung, yeah. nung, nung mooncake. So, kung matigas yung butter, quote-unquote, matigas yung butter na gamit mo, the pastry also, hindi siya malleable enough. So, if I use naman a little soft butter, sobrang lambot naman niya, nakikita mo yung pastry pag binake mo, babagsak siya on the side. So I can use only oh I can only use like two kinds of butter. So pag nakita ko siya sa SNR, talagang hinuhold ko na siya. Um ikaw pala ko... <laughs> you know? So I would really hoard like mga kung kaya ko 50 butters in one go, I would really hoard everything kasi ang hirap niya. And it's butter rich kasi yung pastry in itself, tatlo lang yung ingredient niya. So it's the golden syrup, the flour and butter yun lang siya. So, kailangan talaga butter talaga yung, yung pastry niya. So, kaya, oh, number one, uh, kaya siya bumabango kasi uh, I use but, uh, real butter at the same time, I use good quality butter for uh, the moonbeak. And then so number two, ba- okay. I'm sorry. Go, go. Sige, number two. So, number two, um, you also do uh, egg egg wash on top of the mooncake para to make it brown. Um, for that naman, uh, the teacher or the person who who taught me before, uh, gave me her secret naman. Kasi she, she's been doing, like, mooncake since forever. So, parang, nuro niya sa akin na parang kung ano yung kailangan gamitin. So, I use uh, powdered milk and egg as a brush dun sa pastry ko. So, pag lumabas yung ano, it really smells like, uh, para siyang pastillas na gatas wow. pag labas ng oven. So, um, Yun. So, kaya may pagkaganon scent siya. Kasi, I use really... Yun nga, kasi I don't want to skim uh, since I want to go back to nostalgic taste. So, kaya siya... Actually, before when I was making the mooncake, gagawa lang talaga isang batch. One batch is around 8 to 10 pieces. So, so 8 ilan to 10 na, pieces. Ilang batch ka na ngayon? Ilang batches ah. ka na ngayon? <laughs> ngayon, hindi ko na mabilang. Parang per day ko, parang umaabot na at least 500 pieces. When, during the season na. So, abo siya na oh, 500. Yeah. Can, we, can, we, can we talk about the season? What's the culture behind the yeah. mooncake? Uh, para for people watching, uh, ano ba yan? Binibigay lang for luck? Or ano ba yung story? And kailan ba dapat binibigay? May period ba yan during the season? So, mooncake is for the mid-autumn festival. So, it's coming na September, I think. Oh, so it's coming na September. So by August, I would start uh, making mooncakes again. Um, first, I would give to friends as usual. Um, kasi nga, doon naman talaga siya nag-start. Uh, I would do like one batch of ten. I would keep one for myself and then the other nine papamigay ko sa friends. And then from there, <laughs> nag-start siya. Ru- rumami siya na rumami. So nung rumami siya na rumami, sabi ko, parang hindi na siya financially... Uh, okay na parati lang ang mimigay na wala So, I started selling it. So, nung I started selling it, thankfully, people uh, accepted na the product. So, it's for the Mid-Autumn Festival. Um, 
Uh, the Mid Autumn Festival actually and dami yung story uh, behind it. Um, but technically, in the end, is uh, for the Chinese people or the Chinese community to um, celebrate the moon. Because malaki yung respect ng um, Chinese community for the moon in terms of agriculture, mm-hmm. I think. Because it affects the tides, it affects the um, climate season. So malaki yung respect ng, ng Chinese community sa moon. Uh, so that's why we celebrate the Mooncake Festival. And then there's like some fables behind the Mooncake Festival. Um, si Chang Yi, the, the goddess of the moon, um, yeah. because she loves her husband so much, um, para sinacrifice sa sarili niya. So, and then she drank the elixir of life. So lumipad siya going to the moon. Parang gano'n. So there's a lot of fables. And then also for the um, southern China naman, parang... They use the mooncake kasi may, may etching siya on top. So they use the mooncake, yung etching on top, to relay secret messages to each other. Yeah. Uh, so may mga gano'n naman. So there's a lot of story behind it. Is that, is that uh, before or after the month of the ghost? It's after the month of the ghost. So the month of the ghost, the ghost month is, uh, I guess, August. So yun. Uh-huh. So ngayon, like for example, uh, I just uh, look at it, September 10. So do you give it before or on September 10? Paano ba? Or within a, a period? Lo- a lot of Chinese would actually give it. Gusto nila within that period, uh, that week or the week after. Pero since um, uh, on my end, hindi ko kayang to make that bulk on that those two weeks. Thankful naman ako sa customers ko na they're very... Um, uh, understanding na they give me like a month or two months leeway basta mag sign up lang sila then I'll do it per batch parang ganon so I do it per batch and then pick up on the weekends so ganon ganon siya parate uh, I'm very thankful na understanding naman sila uh, with the dilemma because I only have one oven at home and um, I only I only I will only have stuff pagdating na ng mooncake season so I'll hire like few people to help me out because I can't do that much one case in one go per person. Before, like a few years ago, I only I make everything by hand. Ako lang mag-isa. At the same time, before I I still use the wooden mold. Mm. So ang hirap niya. Kasi kailangan ko siya pokpokin every single time. Pokpok, pokpok, pokpok. Hanggang ngayon? Pok, pok, pok. Hanggang ngayon? Ngayon, since sobrang dami na niya, I use the plastic mold na siya ngayon. Uh, mas mabilis kasi it's like a stamp. So stamp lang ako na stamp. So it's easier. Dati talaga pokpok ako every single one. Tapos wow. um it started when I got a huge order by this company. I don't know if I can say but um, a huge order for this company. Um nagulat ako na parang shocks. Paano ko siya gagawin? So oh, wooden yeah. mold lang meron ako. Um it was uh 30 boxes of fours. So that was the very first uh big wow. order that I got. Um yun. So parang Tapos, ano ba yan? Parang tikay, uh, tiko yung bigaya. Pa, the Chinese families give it for good luck for the family and the one receiving it? Or parang thank you? What's the idea? Good luck. Yes. It's it's good luck. And at the same time kasi, um, actually ngayon kasi mooncake is like the fruitcake of the Eastern world. Yes. Parang ah. it's something that you give away that you don't really eat. Kasi nga, nagkaroon siya ng connotation na, especially ngayon the mass-produced one, na hindi na masarap. Parang ganon. So, I, I'm very thankful that um, my mooncake, uh, for some people who've tried it, um, it's something that people really buy for themselves, for their own consumption. Parang ganon. So, here in Houston, mooncake is all seasons already because of the uh, big Vietnamese community population mm. here. So it's in it's always displayed in all the Chinese or the Oriental supermarkets. Ano na siya? Year year long. Yeah. In Manila seasonal pa rin, no? Not... Um in Manila it's actually all year round, uh especially when you buy it sa bigger bakery stores. But okay. yun nga hindi ko kasi kaya mag-produce ng konti-konti per 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 ano. Kaya naman but if there's like a bulk order, I can actually do it. But, but um if it's home? yeah. Anton and Nats, you know, some people thought that mooncake was only made in China and it was brought to the Philippines or something. They didn't know that it was also being produced 
there. Here. Yeah. Diba? Ah, ganun ba? Oo. Oh, um, kala nila, puro, kasi nasa kahon na may Chinese, then dun so, you know, how was your packaging? Uh, my packaging is based yeah. on the supplier. Uh, so, the supplier, kunyar, uh, I have two suppliers for the, I actually, I have three suppliers for the box. So, kung ano yung, the mooncake kasi, ito yung pinaka-importante sa kanya, kailangan maganda sobra yung packaging mo. It looks, it needs oh, to look nice yeah. kasi people give it away. So, in some hotels nga, actually, mas maganda pa yung packaging kaysa doon sa laman. Yeah. There's like super oh. ganda ng packaging, like mga, mga, mga tawag dito, mga drawers and stuff. Tapos may kita mo yung mooncakes na like, small pero grabe sobrang ganda ng packaging kasi it's really parang feel ko nga in terms of giving in terms of food mas magan mas malaking uh, event si Mid Autumn Festival over the New Year Festival for me in terms of food kasi i mean tikoy over mooncake tikoy is so easy to make mooncake grabe it takes long the, the golden syrup in itself ang tagal niya kilala it's pure tapos the paste ang hirap pa niya gawin and then the pastry and then combined the all together so yun, it's very luxurious. It's tapos we give it away, ganun. So maarte yung mga people sa box. So actually there are some customer pag nalapit sila sa akin, not ano yung box mo. They would ask first about the box, not about the the content. Kala ko product was <laughs> top. Masarap, masarap. Oo, oh, oh, hindi siya ano ano itsura ng box mo. So kailangan ko pa mag-send ng picture ng mga box ganun. May mga ganun pa. So hindi it's very maarte. Hindi nila tinatanong, uh, Nats, meron bang butong pakwan dyan? At saka ikaw ba, yeah. ikaw ba yung nagbukas ng gano'n sa bibig mo? <laughs> <laughs> Hindi. Ang una nalang tatanong, pag tanong nila, o magkano mong cake mo ganyan? O patingin box. Patingin ka agad yung box. And then the, the, the succeeding question, sa ano laman yan? May butong pakwan ba yan? Again, also, <laughs> for, for, for my moon cake, I use melon seeds, not butong pakwan. Melon seeds uh, and uh, sunflower seeds. Okay. Para, ayan. Yeah. It's a little bigger kasi the sunflower at saka the, ano, so mas may crunch, mas mararamdaman. Okay. We'll go to the fitness side though. But uh, before you go to fitness, kasi na, you mentioned about Instagram, no? I wanted to ask. Kasi you're in a unique position. You're a chef. You Parang naintindihan mo yung, yung side ng, you know, restaurateur, the chef. And then, tapos Instagrammer ka rin. I mean, you're in the culture of the Instagram. Uh, what's a recent trend ba with the Instagram Instagrammers um, here in Manila? And then ngayon, syempre, may TikTokers na rin. No? Uh, how do the industry, uh, are they really embraced na by the industry? Or what's really happening in this space? Ito um, today, Ito yung kanya today. It, and, that's, uh, last, uh, what's that? Uh, that's last night. Uh, that's uh, posted that last night. Gouda, Gouda. The Gouda, old school Gouda. So um, ngayon actually, when you go to events, hinahalo na ng for me or if I organize events, I want to still have a mixture of everything, everyone. Um, so you have your trad media. Um, you have the Instagrammers. Because for me, when you look at Instagram, it's very clear eh, kung ano yung pinapromote mo. If, wh- whether you're doing photo, video, or ano, it's clear. Uh, you, of, obviously, you still have, ah, you, you can have the TikTok people kasi malakas ang crowd ng TikTok people eh. I mean, over, in terms of viewership, ang dami nilang venues eh. You can watch them on YouTube. Ay, you can watch them, sorry, you can watch them on TikTok, you can watch them on Facebook. So, ang dami nilang venues. Unlike for Instagram, it's just Instagram. Parang ganun. So, in terms of um, mass media, mass mass si TikTok. Kasi ang dami, and, and ano, parang when I ride the uh, train going places, may kita ko, people really watch TikTok on their free time. Tapos tuloy-tuloy lang yung mga videos. Uh, tuloy-tuloy lang. Before I can see when I ride, uh, when I do my commute, may kita ko, people look at Instagram, look at Facebook. Ngayon, may kita ko talaga people do TikTok, and then, if it's not, it's the Facebook Reels. So, dun talaga ni wapalit yung um, viewership ng mga people. But, um, I can't speculate yet in terms of the effectivity of um, TikTok. Kasi, hindi ko pa siya nakita in terms of um, sales translation. Um, but for some people, for Instagram, nakita ko sales translation niya. 
uh, in oh, terms okay. of like people marketing, marketing, and then may kita mo yung bab- pupunta talaga yung mga followers nila. Um, for TikTok, di ko pa. It's fairly new. I haven't seen the the trans the translation yet. For Facebook, obvious naman yun. For blogs, it's very obvious. For um for write ups, um it's very obvious in translation niya. Uh, from write up and then basa and then you dine into the restaurant. Make clear transition she. Uh, TikTok, di ko pa siya. But um, if you want more people to know about your brand, if you want the um, tao dito yung people hearing your brand most of the time. Okay si TikTok, kasi may kita at may kita kanya pate. Um, yun. Pero yung ano nat uh... Diba meron ma- parang lifestyle na using lifestyle Instagram. Parang mm-hmm. picture picture lang para model model ganyan. Nag-work ba yung mga ganun for the industry? Kasi I mean, you apply it also on your page pero yes. you're chef. Eh. I mean, you're a chef. Eh. So and you started uh with food. Iba kasi 'di ba nag picture picture lang talaga. Uh, does that work ba? And maraming mga followers yung mga 'yon, 'di ba? Um, to be fair sa kanila, there are some lifestyle bloggers na I know personally na uh, may sales translation. I mean, let's face it, what we're doing here is technically marketing. Um, so, at the end of the day, it's still sales translation. Um, there are some lifestyle bloggers na I know, malakas talaga yung uh, fan base nila. Um, so, meron talaga siyang sales translation after they post. Um, pamisa nararamdaman ko rin siya uh, when in terms of um, the mooncake, when in terms of um, whatever I sell, and w- when I used to have uh, Mitsumo before. So, nakita ko yung sales translation talaga niya. Um, it, 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 may kita mo. There are some naman na wala masyado. There are some na mataas yung inquiry. So, it actually depends on the person on how uh, effective yung fan base niya, yung uh, yung clout niya in in a sense. What's your fan base now? Um, pansin ko lang. One million. Uh, si- no, no, no uh, it's only 19 point, 19.4. 19.4 on Instagram. But um, fan base ko, ang, ang demographic ng fan base ko, I think, it's really still more on the Chinese crowd. Kasi nga pag once I post tic, mooncake, ang dami na message. And it's more on the, um, it's more on the, mother side, mother tita side. Kasi sila talaga yung into mooncakes eh. So, yun yung nakita ko. Kasi they're quiet on the regular days. But um, when I post mooncake, doon na, dara-dara na sila. So, may kita ko, may kita ko talaga yun yung, yun yung client ko. Uh, even on the Instagram, sila talaga, the, the moms, the titas uh, of, uh, of Manila. <laughs> okay. All right. So, um let's go to the ano um diba the hungry chef ka and then you ano ka ba mataba ka ba dati na nagpapayat? Uh, you know, a lot of uh, foodies are struggling uh kasama na ako doon uh, on how to lose weight. Uh any tips ba and w- what's your story? What's your journey? Um okay. Actually, medyo hindi ko lang medyo sad yung story for like 9:30 AM pero okay. Um so I was really fat before. So I was like 220 at the yeah. max. Really, may picture kanya. Yeah. May picture kanya sa ano sa Instagram mo? Wala. Meron. I I did a comparison of ano fat to thin. Ah, sige, sige. Uh, comparison Anak. before size. So um, I was like 200 plus, and then I was like 20 plus lang at that time. So at 200 plus pounds, um, alam mo naman Chinese um kilangan Parang sa day, sa day kami, every year may mga blood tests. All the tests. Pag Chinese ka. All the tests in the world, meron ka. So, blood tests and all. So, ano ako doon? Uh, all, all, lahat ng blood tests ko may asterisk. Sugar, mataas. Trigly, mataas. Ganyan. Nasa lahat, may asterisk on the side. So, pag mataas lahat, kailangan mo na gamot. At 20 plus, I was already, already drinking so much maintenance medicine. Parang kasi, di ba, when you drink ganito, kailangan mo may ganito to counteract para ma-protect yung ganito mo. Tapos kailangan mo uminom na ito. Pr- di ba, parang it's a, it's a series of whatever. Yeah. So, I'm drinking for more like more than five, less than ten medicines every single day. So, sabi ko, this is not sustainable. At my age, at 20 plus. And most of the doctors would say, 
Actually, makuha naman to sa exercise. Actually, makuha naman to sa exercise. Parang yun at yun yung naririnig ko sa kanila. So, sabi ko, I, so, oh, I drink my medicine for like a month or two. Then I think, sabi ko, di talaga to sustainable. Eh, ang mahal. In, in one day, how much are you spending for just medicines? Although I'm not paying it. My parents were paying it at that time. But still, I mean, in the long run, pag kakain lang din ako nakakain, I would still drink medicine and more. By the time I'm 30, by the time I'm 40, it will gradually increase kung wala akong gagawin na lifestyle change sa sarili ko. So, that, and aside from the fact that two of my uncles died from brain aneurysm. I don't know what's the cause, but um, sabi nila it's from lifestyle, sabi nila it's from food that you eat. So, um, it became a wake-up call for me na, wait, hindi to sustainable, hindi to magandang lifestyle. Or if I want to do Instagram, hindi siya maganda pakita sa people that are actually ballooning in front of them. So, sabi ko, I need to gradually change my diet, gradually change my lifestyle. So, when I made that decision uh, to change, actually, nakakatawa nga, when I made that decision to change, sabi ko, maglalas hura ako. So, we went to Cebu with my other blogger friends. So, naglechon fest ako every single day when I was there. <laughs> so pagbalik ng Manila Monday, start na kagad ng gym. Pero naglasura ako, nagletson ako every single day prior. <laughs> so anyway, um so yun, um I was thankful enough na um I was able to work with uh, at the time Gold's Gym. I was able to work with Gold's Gym to help me with my fitness journey. So sila yun actually um the first uh company that collaborated with, I collaborated with uh, in terms of uh, my fitness and stuff. So, they were kind enough, parang five years soon, until the branch nearest mine closed down because of the p- pandemic. Um, yun, but for five years, um, talagang ano sila, tutok sila with my fitness goal. So, yun. So, ako pa minsan on my end, nahiya ako kasi I'm not delivering, feeling ko lang, I'm not delivering what I need to deliver. Wala akong six-pack up, wala akong ganyan. <laughs> di ako makapag, di ako makapag, uh, uh, makapagpakita ng yummy, yummy body sa, sa Instagram. Because I find it very cheesy. So, kaya I don't, but yeah. So, and then, uh, recently now, uh, I'm working with um, Anytime Fitness. So, um, yun pa rin. I mean, they still help me with my fitness goals. So, kaya ako, on my end, since I have these people who believe in me so much, uh, I want to show them naman na results of what happened. Parang ganun. You look good, actually. You're uh, looking good. Thank, thank you so uh, much. Thank you. Thank you. Inspiration, inspiration. Sa good. ating so, mga other friends. Maglitsyon mo. Sinatamaan. Iba natin mga friends. From, ano, from not. Maglitsyon mo na kayo ng isang linggo. Pag nahilo na kayo at sumagit na yung batok nyo, go na to anytime fitness. Ayos. Ayan. Okay. Let's go to, uh, let's go to your photos. Uh, and maybe you can caption them for us. <clears throat> so this... um. Kasi as part of being blogger, uh, uh, as part of the Hungry Chef brand, I'm so lucky na there are some brands who taught me to be their parang face. Kasi there are some brands na walang face. So this is one of which. Actually, this is the reason kung bata ako nagkaroon ng... Uh, this is for Healthy Meals, PH. Um, well, so, uh, ito yung collaboration that we did, na which is why I got my Anytime Fitness collaboration. So, if this is supposed to be produced by Anytime Fitness kasi. Um, so, yun. So, it's a year-long contract uh, with Anytime Fitness uh, do, doing parang vid- series of videos um, promoting healthy eating. Yun. Good. Nice. Oh, so this is a family with my grandmom. Uh, mm-hmm. She recently passed away parang December of last year um, because of, well, uh, nature um and then the entire family actually the family sobrang thankful ako sa family because they've been supportive with me so obviously i don't know with chef nancy pero when you're starting cooking marami kang palpak on the way uh marami kang <laughs> marami kang missteps 
So, sila yung um, forever food taster, forever food critic ko, forever um, tagakain, mas hindi na rin masarap yung kinakain na luluto ko before. So, um, I'm thankful for them. Um, so, yun. There? My parents are in the middle beside my grandmom. Um, yun. Actually, my biggest food inspiration na pansin ko is from my mom and my grandmom. Mm-hmm. Kasi, um, when we're growing up, especially during occasions, like Christmas, New Year, ang nangyari, uh, the kitchen, our kitchen is really our communal space. Even during pandemic, the kitchen is our communal space. Lahat nandun, parang kailangan. O kailangan mo magtuhog ng barbecue, kailangan mo magluto ng ganyan, kailangan mo, everyone has their work. Kailangan mo magtali ng work on. So, andun, so while you're doing that, doon kami na usap doon ng chika-chika, whatever. So, doon yung tawanan. So, I think kaya rin, nagkaroon ako ng love for food is because I had good memories growing up. And also, kanya, every every Sunday na doon kami sa house ng lola ko, um, we would watch the, we would watch Martin Yan, we would watch the Chinese girl in RPN. I, I don't know her name. <laughs> yeah. 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 So, yun yung papanood namin as in tipong pag on na siya, tatawagin ko yung grandma for the kitchen. A- ama nandiyan na siya. So, she would watch. Ako, I don't know what they're talking about. But ang saya lang na everyone's watching. Everyone's, we have the same, uh, we have the same passion. Lahat about food. And then, um, growing up before going to Chinese school, I would watch, <clears throat> uh, Chef Sandy Daza on uh, Del Monte Kitchenomics. Yung mga ganon na parang feel ko ngayon wala na. But before when we're growing up, it's all about that. It's all about um, food interjecting in our lives every now and then. So anong uh, favorite Chinese restaurant ng family? Um, Shucks, ang hirap sagutin. <laughs> Where do you go? Where do you well, uh, Chinese... Chinese Actually kasi kami um actually ang hirap sagutin na ah uh, may time kasi parang ano kami parang where uh parang it's a seasonal base sa amin uh, okay. so there's some time before when we're growing up it's always I don't know if um it's it was it's closed down na but before it's Shin Shin in in somewhere in Rojas yes so nandoon kami parate yeah, yeah. Shin Shin somewhere in Rojas Yeah. Uh, the best yung uh, patatim nila with kwapaw like and all. And, uh, yeah, yeah. Kaso sarado na nga. And then, um, after that, nagkaroon naman ng season na gusto namin si uh, yung yung, chine, yung the yung sikat yung fish sa uh, Hong, Kong tea, Hong Kong Tea House somewhere in Malate. Tapos, there's also the dragon dragon uh, noodles in also in Malate. The, the lugaw nila. So, mm-hmm. may mga ganun. So, we're seasonal. Ngayon naman, parang Paradise Dynasty. Favorite din ng parents kay Paradise Dynasty. So, it's very, we're very seasonal. Oh, kung ano yung, kung ano yung na-feel namin for that, ano. And, you know what's funny? Um, kami ng mom ko, we seldom talk about food, ganyan. Pero, kunyari, may cravings ako. Kailangan ko siya bilhin. You know why? Kasi why? cravings din siya ng mom ko for that period. <laughs> <laughs> Magugulat lang ako. There's yeah, yeah. one time nag-uusap kami ni um nung isang vlogger about uh uh country chicken in Masangkay. So we were talking about country chicken blah blah blah. So obviously ang ang sarap ng usapan namin. I was craving for for country chicken. And lo and behold, that night my mom brought home country chicken. Sabi ko, ba't ka bumili country chicken? Wala lang, nakikrave lang ako for country chicken. I was like, alam mo, nakikrave ako sa country chicken. Di ko alam paano bumili. So, parang ganun. So, we have this weird food Galing. na, ano, yeah, yeah. Okay. Next. Galing, galing. Nice story. So, this was Mitsumo. Um, we, actually, we're, we are re- relocating Mitsumo. It's a Samgyupsal restaurant. Um, it's a franchise. Uh, but, um, Our, our side kasi, it's a Mitsumo Premium. So, we were able, or I was able to create some dishes for Mitsumo. Um, one of which is the baked sushi na sobrang sumikat during pandemic. During pandemic, sorry, excuse me. So, yun. So, yeah, sushi bake. Um, we were like doing almost close to 200 sushi bake during the heyday of sushi bake sa Mitsumo. 
pupasok kami ng 6 o'clock just to make sushi bake para umabot for lunch. Parang ganon. Um, <coughs> yeah, so this was Mitsumo. But right now, the restaurant's closed. Uh, we're planning to transfer it somewhere. We still can't find a place kung saan namin siya to transfer. But um, we're planning to transfer it kasi sayang, uh, we still have a lot of clientels na still until na nag-message sa Facebook kung oh, saan na kayo mag-relocate? Uh, ano na yung plano nyo? Blah, 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 blah. So it's now currently on hold pa rin. Okay. Next. Ito na yung yeah. mooncake. That's the mooncake. So yeah. that's the ube mooncake with uh, one egg. Yun. Mm-hmm. Yun siya. So, yes. Hindi ka pwedeng magpasadya ng sarili mong design on the mold? Or is that a standard and what's the meaning? May symbolism ba yan? Uh, all the molds I use is flower, yung design niya. Okay. Uh, most of the molds that I use is flower or, or lotus flower, mga ganon. Yung magpasadya ng mold, uh, I've been looking into that. Pero ang problem ko kasi, all the molds I bought is, the all my old molds is from either China, Hong Kong, or Vietnam. Uh, so yun yung mga old molds ko, the wooden one. The plastic ones, I got them from Shopee. Um, the problem ko kasi, I wanted to make uh, my own my own signature mold. Yeah. But the thing is, yung mga Shopee sellers kasi, uh, it's hard to communicate with them. Especially there, most of them are from mainland China. So, I don't know if it if what I'm trying to say will will push through with them. So, hindi ko pa pinupush yung um, uh, own mold. But although what I do is um, every single flavor, every single flavor have their own uh, distinct mold. Para pagbukas mo ng box, iba-iba yung design niya. Mm. Uh, hindi, siya, hindi siya uniform. So this nice. is this is for the ube, uh, one egg. Tapos iba rin yung design for like ube, two egg, ube, plain. Iba-iba yung design para pagbukas mo ng box. Ang ganda tignan. It's very festive. It's very uh, presentable for gifting. Pero it's always one standard size lang. Ganyang square. Um, I have two sizes. The ube one is the bigger one. Um, so the ube is square. For the lotus, uh, black bean, and XO, it's the smaller. Ay, hindi naman siya smaller. It's, it's round. Yung design naman niya. Before, um, when I was starting, when I was still using the wooden molds, meron ako nung... Parang it looked like 3D kasi pagoda shape siya. So, three-layered naman yung mooncake. Uh, which I can only do when I use the the ano, the ano wooden mold. Sobrang ganda nun. As in, even ako nung nakita ko siya, sobrang tuwa-tuwa ako. Kasi it really looked nice. It looked different. Pero it's hard na to produce in a mass production kasi. So, yun. Okay. <clears throat> So still, that's Mitsumo with, uh, I was promoting that time, di ba? Mitsumo owner, ikaw na rin yung magpapromote sarili mong brand. <laughs> 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 so at that time, um, nauso yung takeout and deliveries. This was, this was during pandemic. Um, uh, so since we were a Samgyu place, uh, konti na lang yung nag- bawal mag-dining at that time. So we were pushing for um, takeout oh. and deliveries. So platters, mga ganyan. So, we doon, ka, doon ako naging creative. Ano yung mga kailangan pwede namin ibenta for? Kasi wala, wala from our franchisor. Yung mga pwede mo ibenta for. Local franchise ba Local ba yung... This is a uh, local franchise, yes. Local franchise. Okay. Yes. Uh, pero may bukas pa na Mitsumo. Uh, Meron pa mga branches na open, yes. Uh, the thing is kasi yung part when we where we open, it used to be a food park. So, tatlo kami yung restaurants doon magkakatabi. What happened was, um, nung, nung nag-pandemic, lahat ng katabi namin nagsara. Kami na lang yung open. Tapos yung ibang part naging talier, ibang part naging offices. So, parang we felt left out doon sa area. So, I think we, sabi namin, we really need to move out. Kasi parang wala na rin papansin sa atin dito parang offices. It's, it's not as festive as before. So yun, that was our dilemma. So sabi namin, we think we really need to move out. There, um, that's a dish that I made for Philips. It's a braised beef, uh, braised pork chunk uh, using mm-hmm. their all-in-one cooker. So mm-hmm. uh, 
parang Philips contacted me to create a dish using their all-in-one cooker. Actually, dalawa yan. All-in-one cooker and during at the time, yung usup, uh, sumisikat yung air fryer. So I did one naman, uh, air fryer naman. So I, did, I made a uh, lechon belly for air fryer. And this one's a uh, pork shank. Which is andaling gamitin ng ano ah. I must say, the all-in-one cooker of um Philips or in general, andaling niya mm-hmm. gawin, especially if you're living in a condo unit. Tapos you want to brace for a long time. Sobrang dali niya gamitin. I mean, ako, I, I was very impressed na after ko siya. You can also saute, kasi yun yung dilemma ng iba. You can also saute using the all-in-one cooker. Okay, saute, and then lagay mo na meat mo. And it takes a shorter time. Parang for pork, it's only one hour as compared to one and a half as usual. Parang ganun. This was um with Pop Talk. Uh, I was asked, asked to be a pop talk reviewer uh during pandemic so i think set up ko during pandemic nakakatawa oh, yeah. lang okay. <laughs> i review online or, or ano they deliver yung food yeah they deliver yung food tapos you uh, ano review online so nandoon ko uh, ko sila lahat so. but uh, ang nakakatawa lang dito is you need to record the interview tapos send mo na lang sa kanila ah so, uh, okay okay so the setup was in my room. Ito. <laughs> wow, sarap. This was uh uh with McKenny naman to. So um it's a I needed to create some dish for McKenny. Um so I just did parang an omu rice style uh breakfast look kasi it's a sausage. Eh. So instead of the usual tapsilog uh, the egg I tra- I made it into like an omu rice, so the soft egg mm-hmm. on top of the rice. That's mm-hmm. it. Okay. Up. So yun. Um, this is one of the few dinners that I love. Uh, it's a forehand by Chef Virgilio, uh, a Michelin star chef, uh, and also Chef um I forgot his name, but is he's also a Michelin star oh, chef. Let me, um... Changila the fourth, yes. Um, actually, um, I don't know kung pansin sa akin, but um, since growing up watching Chef Nancy on TV, Chef Sadi on TV, whenever I see Chef, I see them not as chefs, I see them as rock stars. Ganon. So, to be honest, not for anything, actually, there's one time, ngayon ko lang ibubulgar sarili ko, when I was talking to Chef, uh, to Miss Nina before, um, actually, since na first book na nabili ko was her mom's book, and I was talking to her. Actually, medyo tipsy na ako. Pero, I do yung sobrang emotional ko while talking to her about yung impact ng mom niya sa akin. I was like super almost, almost tearing up. Parang ganon. Kasi nga, ang tingin ko sa chefs, not as chefs, I see them as rock stars. So, parang when I, see, when I get the chance to like see these like Michelin star chefs to tell them the story of their food, Parang I'm so I'm I'm so in all, especially etong dinner na to. May dinala si Chef Virgilio na soil for din uh, for soil. for dessert. So we were eating soil for dessert na obviously nilinis niya and all. Pero grabe yung I mean yung concept niya of the food kung from parang there's like levels. Una pupunta ka sa sea, then for land, then ganyan, so then now air. Parang grabe na parang I mean, yung yung thinking nila of food is really as an art. It's not food. Uh, it's not food. Obviously, it's to nourish, but it's more more than anything. It's an art. Sobrang wala lang. Sobrang na amazo ko every single time I meet someone of 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 that caliber. Grabe yun. So um, this one naman um, I I was um asked by some insurance company. Um, to talk about healthy eating, healthy cooking as well. So these, so most of the time, our clients or the the insurance company's clients is a BPO. So I would talk to BPO um people um with regards to because the the insurance company would do a survey first. Ko ano yung mga sakit nila, ganyan, ko ano yung mga ano nila. So we would uh do a recipe na sakto ko ano yung mga sakit nila. Uh, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, this one is for ano. Uh, this one is, ang tia target namin dito is low, parang matataas yung cholesterol nila. 
So I'm teaching them how to create a recipe now without using so much oil. So instead of using mayonnaise dun sa, kasi this was going Christmas eh. So instead of using oil or mayo, oil-based dun sa, um, sa salad nila, we use yogurt. And then, um, since medyo maasim yung yogurt, um, I added some fruits. So there's grapes, green apple, apple raisins dun sa salad. Chicken salad, this is chicken salad. And then potato to make it healthier as compared to the traditional um, uh, chicken macaroni salad. Yeah, parang ganon. So yun yung, yun yung ginawa namin for this event. This one is a uh, uh, show me the market uh, show sa Metro Metro style. Um, I was with Chef JP. I was touring Chef JP sa Arangke Market in Binondo. So, mm. so I was her. I was his host that time. So tuturo. Inaano ko sa ako sa suki ni Mama before sa sa Arangke ganyan, tuturo sa akin ako ni mga. Kasi you know what? Ang sarap bumili sa Arangke. Kasi yeah. there's a lot of things there na wala sa ibang market. Uh, so whenever I need to buy supplies for the mooncake, kanyan, I would um just go to... Actually, nagsa side trip ako parati sa Arangke. Kasi ang dami-dami sobrang pwedeng bilihin na, up, na hindi ko alam na, uh, na wala sa iba, na hindi ko siya may kita sa ibang market. Very traditional mga, Chinese. Yeah, yeah. Especially mga laman loob, mga, mga fish. There are some kinds of fish na wala rin sa sa farmer's markets. Kanila mo lang may kita. Not the exotic illegal ones. <laughs> <laughs> Meron din. <laughs> Meron din. This one is uh, a collaboration with Grab. Food. So yun. Ang payat mo so, dyan, ha? Ang payat mo. Eh, um, yes. <laughs> pandemic. Uh, uh, this was, yes, this was pandemic. This was last year, I think. So yun. So yun transition kasi nung ano, transition nung The Hungry Chef as a brand. Parang I get to work with um as a chef, I get to work as uh, a name or uh, to promote some things. Parang ganun. So, kaya nakakasaya, nakakatuwa lang um yung The Hungry Chef as a brand. So, I try to keep the brand as 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 people as I can. You're an endorser. Huh? Yeah. You're a respected Fine. endorser, I must say. Yeah. This one is a hub hub that I made for Robinson Supermarket naman for their caravan festival. So yun. So it's a, a parang I needed to cook online. So this was during pandemic then. Uh, I needed to cook online. So all the videos ganyan. So I was cooking sa kitchen sa baba. Plus yun, this was the result. Um, the theme was pansit. So, yun. So, I made a uh, hub hub for them. Alright. That's it. That's it. Galing. Bakit wala yung picture ninyong dalawa? <laughs> Ay, nandito na naman. Live. <laughs> <laughs> I have a question. With regards uh, to... Yes, sir. Bloggers, name, name the top five bloggers top of mind. Food. Top five bloggers. Um... The, the people who I respect the most until now um, are the pioneers. So, number one would be Sir Anton, uh, Leslie Cheng, uh, Jean Perez, and then, hanap pa ako na dalawa. Actually, there are some, actually, they're not vloggers, ha. Um, mag- okay na rin kasi ang, ang food, ah, Facebook, Facebook communities. Facebook community really work. Actually, ngayon po pasok si JC Lo. Sobrang ganda nung fine dining club niya. Um, the members are really active. And also Mark Tanseco of Let's Eat Pare. Sobrang active ng mga people. May kita mo um, when you post something na trending. For example, um, recently parang there's like a noodle shop na, na pinuntahan ng isang member. May kita mo tuloy-tuloy a lot of people were like curious about it. And then a lot of the members were like posting tuloy-tuloy about that noodles. So nakakatuwa lang. Um, pag natuwa yung community, parang it actually also helps other small businesses na about them. So, wala. Ang ganda lang nung ano, ang ganda na interaction with with um, with um Facebook communities. That's good. But the, the OGs of blogging, they will always be the OGs of blogging. Whatever happens. Like the number one guy, Mr. Austin. <clears throat> yes. Yeah, that's good. That, that will never change. Kasi these people actually change the 
the the platform. Kasi before parang actually when I was starting, my mom would always say, but but mo kila picture ng kinakain mo. Ano ba meron? Blah, 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 blah. Ngayon sa sabi na nila, o mami na galawin future mo na, di ba? I mean before it's not something that people understand. Kalalang nila, pupuso na naman, papakita mo sa tao yung kinakain mo. It's not something that people understand. Without people who started it, like Anton, Jean, Leslie, who paved the way for for people like me now. What? Wala, wala. I mean, people will still not understand what vlogging is. Actually, people Anton, will not give respect to vlogging. Anton is the grandfa- great grandfather of ano. <laughs> 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 But ano lang, the, 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 the OG pioneers na lang. Yeah. <laughs> the the GOAT. Yeah. Of all time. Okay. Yun, so, yun. All right. Uh, wow. Okay. Uh, yes, thank you. Thank you. And uh, we learned a lot. Uh, what's your final message for people getting into the industry, uh, especially during this time? After the um, for me, um, at the at the rin na ko sa new bloggers, um, and it's kind of frustration, but uh, I want them to like learn lang. Um, when you go into food blogging, um, number one, you must really love food. You just don't go there just for the feature. Um, you go there because you love food. You love the industry that we're in, which is food. Number two, learn about food. I mean, there's so much books um, with regards to food. Um, when you just read the books ni uh, Doreen Fernandez, Sarap, Lasa, all those, Tikim, makita mo dun yung how they write about food. There's like one essay lang about sisig and grabe mapapadala ka na after mo magbasa doon, sobrang gusto mo na kumain na sisig. I mean, these are the little things na parang how you explain um, the vinegar taste, the, the, the onion taste, yung mga ganun. Um, learn about food. You don't need to go into school to learn about food, but you just need to, ang daming articles yun about food on how to write about it, on how to, kasi there are some bloggers na parang pagkasama ko, they don't even know the difference between one dish and another. They're just there for the future. Oh, wow. So I mean, on on my end, um, just learn about food. Read read more. Um, there's a lot of especially now social media. You don't need to buy books. Just go online. And dami mo mababasa about one thing or another. I mean, I forgot to say pa. Um, one person who I admire most is uh Joel uh Market Manila. Ang ganda yeah. niya magsulat. Yeah. Uh, Ang ganda niya magsulat even in terms of food. It's very flowery. It's very... You can sense. You can taste kung ano yung sulat niya. So, yun. Um, just read more. Um, kasi the more you read, the more people actually write about food, the more we lift the industry to a better standard. Yeah. It's not about lang masarap kumain dito. Tiri. Hindi masarap kumain dito. Tiri. Ganun. If we, we need to lift the... Ano, kasi right now, ang saya ng industry. Eh. It's all going back. Um, and then we're now celebrating chefs. Uh, it's not just food. As compared to before, chefs are like behind the scene. So like Chef Nancy, sila Chef Sandy, who paved the way na it's being, chefs are being celebrated now. So kaya, it, nagkakaroon naman ng time for me to sh- to do the things that they used to do. Parang ganon. So kasi chef driven na siya, eh. kailangan may face, may ganyan. Yun. So kaya, um, we need to lift the industry more. Pwede uh, ba sumingit? Uh, yes, I think there should also be an ethic etiquette for bloggers. Number one, huwag naman kayo magdadala ng pambalot o yung mga Tupperware. It's really not nice. Secondly, don't bring somebody who was not invited. Kasi sometimes, kawawa yung sinama mo tapos eksakto yung chairs, di ba? Or yung seating. If you want, you ask permission from your host. Uh, I need to bring somebody because uh, she's the one driving for me and ano, or, or kami magkikita. Then, ganon. Hindi yung pagdating, may dala ka ng kasama. Worse pa, kung may dala ka ng kasama, may dala ka pang Tupperware, di ba? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Sa akin lang, just be well-educated when you write about food. Um, 
yun. Um, no more about food. Um, your Lola's cooking is different from what's being served in the restaurants or what can be done in the restaurants, especially when you're eating fine dining. Sobrang hiwalayan. So, it's time to, especially when you really want to be here, um, learn. Learn more. Learn the ingredients. Learn the cooking methods. Just read about it. You don't need to go to school. Or at least, um, when we have discussions about food, ang saya nung discussion. May, may, may yeah. magsasabi ka sa chef. May masasabi yung chef sa'yo. It's not like a one-way conversation and then, yes, chef, yun lang masasagot mo. Yeah. Diba? Uh, can I ask Anton something? Anton, since you are the grand great-grandfather, <laughs> uh, Anton, do you think like now, uh, bla- v- vloggers and vloggers for the administration, they're being accredited. Do you think there should be an accreditation for food bloggers and vloggers? Yes, uh, actually, in uh, internationally, uh, they're already accepted as part of the mga writers' association. Yeah. Uh, but still, in the Philippines, parang hiwale. <laughs> ayaw, ayaw kasi embrace ng mga. I don't know, siguro the old, old profession, this new method. Although, there are already a lot of uh, media that embraced uh, the internet, no? the multimedia during the industry. Uh, yun, may mga pushback pa. Pero, uh, like for us, uh, we want to be accredited. But nobody's, uh, parang they don't want to accredit us. <laughs> uh, I think that's the, that's the way the industry needs to go. <clears throat> okay. It's a very so, eye-opening for me because dito talaga the the bloggers and the vloggers they they're all alam mo na kung anong level sila eh. they come in different levels. Oh, anyway, I hope it yeah. happens. And then uh, there were a lot of uh, attempts to organize the bloggers as a separate from you know like traditional writers. I think that one is not working eh. You if you separate them. I think it needs to be uh anyway we're in the digital age na <laughs> so that's a mm-hmm. uh, part and parcel so it's more of uh, uh accrediting them based on the quality of the work diba? uh yeah. the ethics they follow uh kasi when you're accredited you follow certain ethics yes uh, para- yeah. you're getting there anyway very thank inspiring you. Yes, salamat and, Thank you um, so much. For somebody like me who has seen you from the time you were 200 pounds to now. <laughs> and, uh, and you know, uh, and you even uh, went into, you even had a mooncake baby, diba? That's really a, sci- a, a story of your success based on your, yung talagang ano, yung, your, uh, your really di- due diligence as a blogger. Congratulations. Very proud. Thank you so much, Chef. Thank you so much, Chef. Okay. Yes, Anton. No, wala si Anton. Anyway, uh, so what are you talking about next in on Instagram? I follow you. I keep, I keep saying yeah. yes to you. Yeah. Yes, I, I reply naman, Chef. <laughs> Pero oh. kumisan na late lang ako mag-reply. <laughs> ang, hindi Today, ko, um, ang hindi ko gin- nila like yung mga chef na uh, nag-change lang sila ng hairdo, magpapakita na. Hindi ko type yun eh. Ayoko nang gano'n. Uh, yeah, sorry. Later, I'll be with ano, I'll be with Sir Stanky naman. Uh, we'll do uh, food, yeah, we'll do some food reviews later in BGC. So, I'll meet with uh, Spanky later. Okay, there's Anton. Okay, Anton. All right, marami salamat. Uh, thank you. Uh, thank you so much. <laughs> and see you. Uh, and thank you for being an inspiration to a lot of uh, yes. the younger people. And uh, you know, uh, for those people watching, we wanted to, uh, you know, feature all the younger, um, you know, younger chef, younger uh, culinary, the the next generation from uh, in uh, in awesome life. So uh, once again, please like and share this video. Uh, and for the fans of The Hungry Chef, uh, maraming salamat. Uh, <laughs> um, God is good, Nancy. Hey. Yeah. Mooncake! Kuning uh, ng mooncake! Mooncake! Oo, oh, mooncake. Malapit na <laughs> mooncake season. Okay, live an awesome Thank life, you. guys. That's Thank nice. you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Uh, can you do a short, short video?